欢迎收睇美国专讯。今集嘅节目我哋系主要介绍自然科学。首先系介绍一名公民科学家以及真菌学家，佢对蘑菇有独特嘅研究噶。下面系记者费多嘅介绍。Oh, dude, that's just a cluster of like mycelium and rock and dirt. It's not even mushroom at the bottom. I could literally do this for the rest of my life. Just hang out on the woods, sitting on the ground, looking at mushrooms with my homies. Don't get much better than that. If you could figure out how to look at mushrooms with the rest for the rest of your life with your homies, you won. I grew up in the cities, and my parents didn't really have much of a connection with nature. I only knew the forest, and I only knew trees from the side of the car while we were driving, and it was usually just a blur. Mushrooms first came on my radar in high school, I think, because a lot of kids were trying them. It was a thing that was just going around. I started really exploring it. I was like, this is there, this is where there's potential for me here in rural Pennsylvania, where everything else is illegal that I'm interested in. I can do something that is okay and acceptable, and something that nobody else is doing. There was nobody in like a 60-mile radius growing any mushrooms. There was nobody that I could go learn from to go about growing mushrooms. Like nobody can teach me about mushrooms, but if I started doing this, somebody will pay me to learn about mushrooms. I dropped out of high school. So that was like probably one of the craziest things for my mom because she's like coming from such an academic background and wanted me to go to college and all this kind of stuff. Um, but I ensured her that I didn't want to stop learning. Fungi can be used for medicine. Fungi can be used for materials. Fungi can be used for remediating soils, cleaning air, creating alternative materials. Incredibly valuable mushrooms. Incredibly delicious mushrooms, um, and all sorts of incredibly medicinal mushrooms, from the cordyceps to the reishi. Mushrooms really give you kind of superpowers. Like every single different mushroom has some. Uh, ability associated with it. Every single mushroom has some essence associated with it. You know, from being able to boost your immune system to boost your brain function to you know make your heart stronger or be able to get more oxygen into your body. I find it really incredible to be able to associate with these different things in different ways that you know may make me a better person or if not you know bring me closer to uh, understanding more about nature. Um, I find them all to be like little keys or little riddles or little clues into a bigger mystery that is the life that we're experiencing. I didn't believe that magic existed in the world anymore, and in following mushrooms connected me to nature, and in learning about the natural aspects of myself and the natural aspects of this world, and the natural patterns helped me to realize that magic never went anywhere. 蜜蜂蝴蝶同昆蟲喺全球各地嘅數量減少。我哋嘅記者斯威科德最近同美國一名生物學家傾談過，咁並且探討有關嘅情況對糧食生產同埋環境帶嚟嘅影響。Pollinators writ large of bees, butterflies, many other insect groups are definitely threatened on a global or local scale due to habitat loss or destruction. So when we convert a forest into a cornfield, you lose practically every native pollinator that you started with in that forest. So what the western honeybee, domesticated, semi-domesticated animal that we farm, that we manage in, in, in boxes, is not in decline globally. Honeybees were first brought over from Europe. Uh, 1622 is the best estimate. In the U.S., pollinator services are actually more highly valued than is honey production. This one's got a lot of honey on it. And this, this sticky stuff that's holding it together is called propolis. It's plant sap. This is capped honey, and you could eat it right as is. And this is wax honeycomb around it. These are drones that are emerging. They're much larger than the worker bees. The drone has one purpose in life: to go out and mate with a queen. And once it does that, it dies. In a typical colony, you'll have one queen, although that's not universal. You'll have upwards of 40,000 workers in that hive, depending upon the time of year, and anywhere from zero up to a few thousand drones. So, if the queen's healthy, laying eggs, she's putting down a strong pheromone、uh, profile. The bees can touch her and sense that everything is okay. They'll just continue to do their job and defend the, the, the colony against intruders and, and、uh, predators.
Globally, yes, pollinators writ large in many instances are in decline. The western honeybee, there are real threats, but just as with any farm animal, there are parasites, there are predators, there are pathogens, and we just need to deal with them. Thank you for watching. Until next time, see you next time.